to you. You guys, it is freaking amazingly beautiful out today. It's like 70 degrees already this morning. And yesterday we woke up to frost on the pumpkins. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still dealing with that a little bit. But what a glorious day. And it's supposed to be nice all week. Have I mentioned how much I love the fall? Oh, have I mentioned how much I love big 18-wheelers pulling out directly in front of me? Hey, how are you guys? I'm in a really good mood. Heading back to the nest right now. I have no idea what these people are doing with this road. There's some road work going on. Cray cray. Uh, all this progress here in town, if you can call it that. But yeah, today is going to be a day of errands and stuff. I'll take you guys with me. Um, Tom and I are going to go out to lunch later. We found, I looked up this place, uh, I was checking vegan restaurants nearby. And we've pretty much hit them all, but there's a new one in Warwick that it's called the Conscious Cafe. And they're open today. I checked already. Checked their menu. It looks amazing. And it's just such a nice day for a ride that we're going to go run to the bank. I have to get some lab work today, my routine stuff. And, uh, and then we'll head over there for lunch. So that should be kind of cool. And we'll give you guys some good scenery shots. And how's everybody doing this week? You can see I've been a busy. Um, I kind of slowed down a little bit. I put out the... Um, Oh, I just lost it. The uh, Gypsy and the Witch collage, which thank you very much. I'll show you when we get home. Uh, but a lot of you guys gave me some good feedback on that. And I'm trying to think what else I did. I did something else, didn't I? Oh, the Goddess Provision Box, which I love this month. It was wonderful. And right now I'm finishing up the um, Mission Inspiration our journal page for October, which I'm not loving, but it kind of works that way for me sometimes. Almost done with that. And then I have one more video that's a little kind of whimsical um, that I'll have up by the end of the week, probably by Saturday or something. But And happy new moon tomorrow. And I really don't have a lot to talk about. We went to see Patty on Saturday night, her show. She did amazing. And always good to get out and support the good cause and my sister Sunshine. And it's her birthday this week. It's funny, her birthday is a day before my birth sister's birthday. So Patty's birthday is the 22nd and my sister Sue is, uh, I mean Patty's the 21st and my sister Sue's the 22nd. I'm going to have to make some lunch dates or dinner dates for those girls. But yeah, that was a quick ride. We are home now and I'll see you guys inside. Okay, guys, look at this day. Glorious. Okay, so you know the drill. I'm just coming in and seeing what's up. I'm going to make some coffee. I am going to call the lab and see if I can reschedule sooner. This is my filming fun over there. It's actually two videos in the works. And speaking of videos in the works, yeah, you guys, thank you so much for the love on this. This was this month's Gypsy and Witch project. And I know it is a little dark, um, but you know, it's Halloween and the longer I looked at it, the more I wanted to change things. And sometimes you just have to walk away and call it done. So this is actually my sixth big uh, mixed media collage. And I didn't put any hanging hardware on it yet. So right now it's just on my bookcase. And I actually have another one there. And We're All Mad Here is up there. Boy, they're all pretty dark, you know. And then I have another one.
up here. So maybe in the springtime I'll do some light ones. Yeah, remember her? Okay, so life is good. I have no complaints. I hope you're all doing well, and if you're not, I hope you're doing better. Um, like I said, we're just going to kind of do some errands today. I probably won't be doing much work on this stuff uh, until later. And like I said, this weekend I'll probably put something out, uh, two somethings out. So that's all. Let me make some coffee. I do have a few things to show you guys. So let me get cleaned up here. Um, I don't have a lot. I have a couple things I bought. And then I have one envelope that came yesterday for some happy mail and something from my neighbor, Peggy. So good morning, window. Good morning, world. Good morning, beautiful people. I need to get some potting soil. It's time to repot some plants. Um, I need more room or more hangers. So, yeah, do do do. Let's get the essential oil started. Let's get some coffee started, and I'm gonna get dressed, and I'll meet you back here, and show you some stuff. Okay guys, it's about noon now and you can see it's rainbow hour in here. Uh, I've decided to keep my lab appointment for 2 o'clock and just leave it. I'm just getting dressed now and Tom went out to the bank and stuff and we're going to get together after my labs. But I was getting dressed and I want to wear this purple dress. You guys have seen this. I got it from Patty's store. Oh, it's got rainbows on it right now. Um, but it is way too long. And I have worn it where I've tied up these corners here. But honestly, I could take about four inches off the bottom of the hem. And I'm going to do that. I took out my rotary cutter and some pins. And I'm going to even it up to about this center point right here. So I am going to take off, you know, quite a bit. Now... I may lose some of the flowiness of it, but it's no good just being in my closet. And honestly, I don't like to um, have the big knots at the bottom. It's a little too much fabric. So I'm just going to pin that up and cut it off. And we'll see where that leads me. Okay, guys, you could see I just folded it in half and pinned it together, but I had the hardest time. This dress has so many strange angles. I almost think it wanted to be a jumpsuit in another life, but very weird, but I didn't fuss with it too much, and I didn't even iron it or anything, so it's not going to be perfect, but I'm going to cut about uh, this much, and I'm going to angle up over there, okay? So it'll kind of come down to a point here. And today I can get away with leaving that raw hem, but I will fix the hem on my sewing machine at a later day. So I'm not going to set up the tripod so you see me cutting this, but like I said, I'm just going to take my rotary cutter here and start here and go like that. And we'll see what we get. All right. Okay, you can see, that's exactly what I did, and if it's too ragged, I can trim it up, but I think this will be better, because especially like trying to climb stairs with my crutches and stuff, um, yeah, it looks pretty good. I think we'll have to see when it's on but um, it's not straight I didn't lay it out straight yeah I'll show you when it's on I think we did good see you in a minute all right I laid it out a little better this time see how it really wants to be a jumpsuit 
you know you could just cut right up the center there and make some legs and that would be cool but uh, I think we mission accomplished here so that should make walking a little easier and I'm happy I did it and like I said I can get away with a raw hem today but I will put a hem on that so there you go let me get dressed and I told you guys how much I love Facebook memories I can't believe it's been two years you guys since I did the witchy wizard wand tutorial video so if you haven't checked it out yet check it out uh, I made these out of chopsticks and hot glue yeah so fun and easy um, again this is a video that I thought of doing an updated version on but I have a big to-do list right now so if you haven't checked it out check it out So let me show you the dress real quick. I'm really happy I cut it because I'm going to get a lot more use out of it. And you can see it's still long, you know. So, and it turned out pretty evenly for not really measuring and just kind of eyeballing it. So I'm loving it. And I'm wearing it with a denim jacket because it is a summer dress. I could put a shirt underneath it, but I get a lot of use out of this denim jacket. And I always wear another skirt underneath. So just a plain black one, and I have a suede boot on today. So that's it, outfit of the day. Oh, bracelets by my dear friend Inez. Look at that, you guys. And this one came from the Goddess Provisions box. And so did this. And now I feel like Patty doing dress of the day. And if you haven't checked out Patty's shop, I will put a link below to the Funky Hippie Chic Boutique. She's got an online store and a brick and mortar store where you can go check her out so let's uh i'm going to do a little show and tell and then we got to get on the road okay guys let's do this the first really exciting thing that i got from amazon was dun 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 another stays on ink pad this is jet black i love these um the last one i got was about two years ago so i use it frequently and they've lasted a long time so I should probably invest in uh, getting a refill maybe next time. I do have a refill one for my white, but love this stuff. It's permanent, and my artsy friends know and love it too. So I'll put a link to everything I got and showed you t down below. This I opened yesterday, but I wanted to save to show you guys. Um, I needed some more frankincense oil, and I've never gotten from this company before. And this was nicely packaged in bubble wrap and everything. Um, I got this on Amazon. The name of the company is Majestic Pure Cosmeceuticals. And I love frankincense oil. Frankincense and myrrh. I love my patchouli. Cinnamon. Um... Those are just my favorites off the top of my head. Palo Santo oil, sandalwood, um, yeah, on and on and on. But definitely love frankincense. And this was about nine, $19, I think. I don't have the price handy, but it was under $20. But it is four ounces, and that's a good size. So really nice, 100% therapeutic grade. And it doesn't have the dropper top. It has the dropper itself, which I really uh, prefer, actually. All glass. So those two. That's all I bought this week. Lord knows I did enough shopping last week. And my neighbor Peggy, who I know and love, um, brought me this yesterday. She went to Cracker Barrel. Uh, which there's not really a lot around here, but she found one and they sell apparently these really cool bags and check this out So I was super stoked Thank you, Peggy. It's beautiful heavy-duty and 
she didn't really know too much about Day of the Dead and Sugar Skulls. So I gave her some info and she gave me this great bag. So isn't that cool? I know you guys love this stuff too. And also, a total surprise, um, this envelope came in the mail. Tom picked it up yesterday. And I'm not familiar with the person who sent it. Um, her first name is Lindy. And thank you before I even open this, Lindy. Um, I'm assuming you know me from YouTube. I checked on Facebook. And it's possible you go by another name, though. So I hope you don't mind that I'm opening this on camera. Um, but thank you again in advance to Callie from Lindy. Ah, oh. aw. This is a random act of kindness. Um, from someone who's in Artsy Endeavors on Facebook. So thank you, Lindy. That's amazing. And I believe uh, Artsy Endeavors is Cindy Utter's group. And that is very cool. I'll put links to everybody below. But I love random act of kindness are so nice. I wish I strive to send out more than I do um, because they just are wonderful and this is so sweet thank you so very much uh, I am gonna give you a shout out Lindy Lindy Lassard so um, if you have a YouTube channel I will find you oh this is lovely don't forget to fly thank you so much it's going right on the refrigerator and then she sent a tag, which are always nice to have. And then look at this one. Gorgeous. And then a bag of love. You guys are so good. Thank you so much. Yeah, just like little bits of bling and I don't want to drop anything let's see hearts and you guys know I always use this stuff in my journal pages or my challenges oh so happy these are like stickers how fun thank you so much these are little um oh my gosh like a little teeny tiny mini notebook you know memo paper almost like post-it notes adorable with the pencil on it so cute it's a beautiful leaf <laughs> god bless america lord knows we need it cork very nice and then some bling Super cool. This guy didn't fall out. We got a heart. And then some little wooden, I love these little wooden die cut things. Peace and love. Beautiful rose. <laughs> a pink sprinkle vegan donut, which they do have. You guys know I actually asked, uh, sent a message to Dunkin' Donuts asking them to make vegan donuts. I did do that. They said, we'll pass that along to corporate. I said, thank you. Love these. Little Aurora Borealis. Say that five times fast. Crystals. And can't have enough purple wooden die cuts, right? Gorgeous. Thank you so much, Lindsay. And again, I'll put everybody's link below. That's wonderful. little piece of love coming at me. And I'm sending love right back to you guys. And welcome new subbies. My goodness. So happy to have you here. And um, yeah, I'm sending love to all you guys. So let me get my butt on the road. Let's go do some lab work. For those of you who don't know, I have a blood clotting disorder. 
hereditary called antiphospholipid coagulation disorder. Isn't that fun? Uh, basically, it means my blood is the consistency of maple syrup without uh, pharmaceutical intervention, unfortunately. And so far, they don't have any holistic treatments uh, that I can, you know, I mean, I've had an amputation. I can't. Uh, Coumadin has been the drug of choice for me for like 19 years now. So uh, because I am on it, it is a blood thinner. Um, I need to watch vitamin K levels, which means I can't eat bushels full of broccoli. And uh, I get my uh, blood levels monitored. Other than that, I really haven't had any issues. I don't use any special precautions or anything like that. But I do have to get my butt to the lab frequently. And luckily, there's one uh, close by. So I'm taking you guys with me. And after that, we'll go get Mr. Tom and head to this new cafe, which I'm very excited about. So let me stop running my mouth. I'm going to put this stuff away, and I'll meet you in the car. Have I told you guys how nice it is out? It is so nice out. And you want to see something funny? I'm such a yin-yang. Um, this was in my purse. Uh, yeah, it's my sock. Don't ask me. I don't know why. I feel I need to bring my sock along. Let's go get some lab work done and enjoy this beautiful day. And I thought I'd tell you a little story along the way. I don't know if I can tell it in t you know, the time we have, but if not, it'll be continued. So once upon a time, back in 1980, 37 long years ago, I was a young lass of about 16. And to give you an idea of who I was at 16, let's say that my life mainly consisted of parties and concerts and a lot of Rocky Horror and hanging out, okay? So, uh, yeah, that was 16 for me, and I had a blast. I did graduate high school. Um, I don't know how sometimes, but we had a lot of fun. And at one point, now remember, this is before the internet or cell phones or anything. Uh, the details may be a little fuzzy, but I'll tell you this the best that I can recall. I got a phone call, I believe, from my friend Joey. Shout out to Joey. And he said that he saw an ad in the newspaper. They were looking for extras to be in a movie that was being shot by our local cable company, which I believe was Cablevision at that time. And it was just an ad in the newspaper, and they were looking for people who were interested in being extras for no pay, just, you know, and they gave a date. I think it was the following week that you were supposed to show up. It was like open audition. i got to open the window here. It's really warm out. Open audition. Not even audition. They were going to look you over and whatever. We didn't know, you know. So we decided to go. And there was a bunch of us. I can't remember everyone who went, honestly, you guys, for who were there. But if you were there with me, write down below. Anyway, uh... We went and I remember going into a room and there was like a table and there were maybe 10 people at a long table and we basically just kind of walked in front of these people. And literally at this time, you guys, I my whole, you know, attire consisted of concert t-shirts, Levi's. I usually wore a bandana around my hair, you know, some things never change. So I didn't dress up for this or anything, you know? I was just who I was, and that was it. I think we might have filled out our name and our phone number or something. So the next uh, thing that I remember, hello, um, was probably a week or so later getting a phone call, and I don't remember who it was, but it was someone from Cablevision, and they asked if I would be interested in being in a movie they were shooting and it was going to shoot at a place called the Goshen Racetrack in Goshen, New York and did I want to be an extra and I was like oh my god yes I'm gonna be a movie star this is it I'm being discovered right and they asked that we wear like western attire which 
my mother had a, a like a denim shirt with some western buttons or something I think I wore anyway I don't remember who else got that phone call but my next memory is being at Goshen Racetrack and I remember sitting by my friend Anne Early shout out to Earl's and her mother I don't know if any of my other friends were there I don't remember but I remember clearly hanging out with them and we were there all day you guys they I got to see it was the premise of the movie the movie was called the magic saddle and the premise of the movie was that there was this magic saddle that put on this horse the horse was winning all these races they didn't really even give us the backstory that much but what we had to do was we were in the stands of the racetrack which still exists it's a historic track in Goshen um, we were you know in the audience and there was a guy that ran around the racetrack and he was pretending to be the horses and every time he came around to our area we had to cheer really loud yay or hip you know go go like we were watching a race now it was really interesting because I got to see a lot of behind the scenes of how things are made in a movie and the time it takes and all the waiting and everything and that was really cool well it was hours and hours and so what they started to do was like try to entertain us in between filming right so they did raffles and I remember there was this young girl with a bullhorn who was like telling jokes and things <clears throat> and she was trying to keep us entertained and she said at one point you know does anybody sing does anybody <clears throat> excuse me have any you know jokes they want to tell or anything and my friend Ann pointed at me and said she sings she sings and I was like oh yeah I sing I sing so the girl came over with the megaphone and on the spot acapella and I could I could do it back then I mean I look I still like to sing but at 16 you know uh, and I sang White Rabbit, Jefferson Airplane. On the spot, I nailed it. I knew I nailed it. And I'm not being conceited. I just know I could sing the song. And I finished the song, and it was quiet for a minute. And then a few minutes later, I get this down from the front where they were filming. Somebody said, could the girl who just sang that song please come down here? And I was like, oh, my God. I was dying, you guys, okay? freaking out so I went down and they were kind of there was a bunch of people like standing there and they were like hey listen we are also filming two more days I guess this must have been a Friday so we're filming Saturday and Sunday also and tomorrow we're gonna be at the Orange Inn which is also in Goshen and we have a band and it's gonna be like in a bar scene and do you want to come sing with the band and I was like, oh my God. Now, meanwhile, I'm 16, guys. I have no business being in a bar or anything, but hello. This was a different time back then. Well, of course I want to do this, right? So I was just over the moon. And I remember like going home. My mother was so excited for me. And sure enough, I went back the next day and I was kind of like, I didn't really know what I was doing so I just approached someone and sure enough they kind of took me under their wing and the people that were that I really liked the most it was I had no desire to be in front of the camera honestly I really liked being hanging out with all the people making the movie and stuff so they took me under their wing and I hung out with them and we ate and partied and filmed later on that night and sure enough sang with the band and I, the rest of the night is a blur honestly you guys I just remember it being very very late and my mother came to get me it was probably like 2 in the morning or something and I came home that night and there was a star on my pillow my mom had made this star out of like cardboard and tin foil she was so proud of me and the next day uh, they were filming again in a local town. I'm pulling into where I got to get the lab work now, so I'll probably have to finish this story afterwards. But um, a town called Monroe, New York, which is actually nearby, kind of where we're going today, uh, at this farm. And I went there too. 
and again just hung out like with the the gaffers and the cameramen and I got to go up in the cherry picker and they kept you know there were some scenes where I was just like walking in the background and stuff but you know no I'm not an actress I can sing and I you know don't mind the spotlight obviously but I'm not an actress um, so that's gonna be it for the story oh, there's a good spot right there uh, um, and yeah I guess I can fear fine I guess I can that was pretty much it that was my big claim to fame and uh, it I've never if anyone knows of any of this footage or anything like uh, I'll look at this we're right up front guys the name of the movie again was the magic saddle and it was a cable vision production but I'm sure all that footage probably wound up on a cutting room floor somewhere who knows but what an adventure right and I also made a really good friend um, one of my first pen pals this guy named Eric Spitzer Marlin. Shout out to you, Eric. Uh, he lives in Austria and he kind of took me under his wing and was like big brother protector for me that whole weekend. So that was really special too. And after that, we did exchange a couple letters, um, but I lost track of him. And that's my, I was in a movie story. So I guess I was able to finish it up. That was it. That's my big claim to fame. Uh, when I was 16, I got to be in a movie. So uh, I've been meaning to tell you guys that story for a while. So let me go in and get some blood work done. And if I could film in there, I will. But, you know, again, you want to maintain people's privacy. So those HIPAA laws. Hip, hip, hooray. I'll see you when I see you. It is nobody in here today. They're busy outside, but not here in the lab so far. So... Just me and the, uh, what do we have for my reading pleasure? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I'll look at the pattern on the carpet or play words with friends. And the one other magazine that's in here. Are you kidding me? Uh, they didn't know I was coming. Okay, guys, we're having parking lot madness right now. I just had to play, uh, musical chairs or musical cars so that's done shout out to the lab girls in there they're wonderful and they were ordering fresh juices from our local crispy apple store which I'm happy to hear that they are up and running on a consistent basis now and you know what next week I'll take you there um, it's just a local store actually right near the cave and they make fresh pressed juices and they have wheatgrass shots and he's gonna start making more um, sandwiches and stuff and actually he subscribed to my YouTube channel so shout out to the crispy apple and the girls were saying that they actually deliver the juices up here which is wonderful and we need more places like that so I told him I was going to the conscious cafe today so Anyway, let's try to get out of this parking lot now. People are going... Oh, I think I knew her. Do I know you? I think I know you. Again, I used to work with a lot of people around here. So, yeah, you guys, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Have I run my mouth enough? I think so. Um, yeah, let's go catch up with Tommy. And I'm getting very hungry, so uh, I'm going to show you a little scenery, and I'll see you at the cave.
Okay, guys, my sweetie bear's not back yet, but I'm sure he will be any minute. So I'm just going to chill out and have something to drink, and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Okay, Tom's back, and we're going to be heading out soon. And I forgot to show you my magical smiley face bandage. What? See you in the car. Okay, we're getting on the road. Flash my mystery man. Yes, he exists. are all onion fields and they're being po pollinated right now with all these beehives. Check it out. Some good black dirt there. Okay guys, we're here and it's right down there. So I'll take you with us. But what a beautiful little town. I haven't been to Warwick in years. So looks great. See you in the restaurant. I'm really, you know, it's this is the first time I'm married that I've seen that around and I'm just making this diet seriously. Okay guys, we're going to get the vegan nachos. I'm going to get the Kim's Reuben. And Tom is going to get the Far East Bowl. The Far East Bowl.
Here's Tom's Mediterranean Bowl, looking amazing. And here is my sandwich. And we're still waiting on our nachos. And I have a feeling it's going to be well worth the wait. Look at these nachos. Oh my god. The food was amazing, as you can see. And we'll be finishing up this last little bit too. And now I'm in the bathroom here, guys. This place is great. And check out the light switch. Look at this fence, you guys. A conscious fork fence. You guys, now we're in the junction, which is a nut shop, right next to the conscious fork. And they have lots of nuts here. Are you Annette? Yes, I am. Okay. Do you want to say hi to YouTube, Annette? <laughs> she doesn't want to say hi, but she's here. She really exists. She's like Tom. And here we are back outside the restaurant. What a beautiful afternoon. And here's the old Warwick train station. Isn't that beautiful? To top off lunch, you know we're not very sweet people, but these are organic vegan coconut macaroons. So I'm going to take a big bite of that right now. And they're as good as they look. Yummy! Okay guys, we're getting on the road, heading back home. Okay guys, I'm back in the driver's seat, as you can tell, and now it's a reverse trip back to the nest again, and I have about 530 clips to upload, but that'll be fun, and I'll get that done, and later on tonight, we're just going to chill and relax, catch up on this week's episode of American Horror Story. Have you guys been watching that? It's pretty good this season. But anyway, I think you've seen enough of me today, and I adore you guys. Stay tuned. Like I said before, I should have mission inspiration up either tomorrow or Friday, probably at the latest. And then one other kind of cute video this week, and you'll see me soon. I love you guys so much, okay? So I'll talk to you soon. Peace, love.
couple of ear tugs for the grandkids. And let me get around this traffic craziness here. And then I'm going to say goodbye. I love you guys. Bye-bye. See you next week.